Hi, welcome to my personal blog, and today is the first video blog titled, You're Going to Be Okay. There's a lot of reasons why I decided to make this blog, and the main reason is because I want to be an encouragement, and I want to reach out to those of you that feel pretty overwhelmed uh, with life in general, whether it's being a mom, or maybe you're trying to get through some tough times in your life, maybe you're working through some tough emotions, whatever it is. I want to show you and I want to tell you that you're going to be okay and you will get through this. Motherhood can be very overwhelming. So can a lot of other things. So sometimes what happens is we are flooded with powerful emotions that leave us feeling anxious, depressed, angry, and just so overwhelmed to the point where we come to a point where we feel like we're not going to get through this moment. We wonder if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But I'm here to tell you that there is. And what I've learned in my own personal life of having to go through some deep emotions in my own healing, in my own personal journey, I've learned that if you give it time, if you allow yourself a couple days to wait for those really strong emotions to, to subside, you start to feel better. Sometimes it can take longer depending on what you're dealing with. If you're working through trauma, it's gonna, it might take a little bit longer or you're gonna have ebbs and flows of those emotions. So when we face those deep emotions where we feel like we're just not gonna, it's never gonna end or we're wondering if it's ever gonna end, I want to give you some advice. What can we do? There are several things that we can do. The first thing is to make sure that there's somebody in your life that you trust and that you know accepts you and loves you for who you are and where you're at right now in your life. Someone who may not understand 100% what you're going through, but is trying to be empathetic, sympathetic, and supporting you and cheering you on through this time and believes in you. What else can we do? Well, try to do something constructive. And what does that mean? It can mean something different for everyone. Sometimes it may be something as simple as wiping down the kitchen counter because sometimes we can be so overwhelmed. It may take a lot of effort just to get up from that couch and get moving. Depending on where you're at, if you're really depressed, sometimes it means picking up the phone just to talk to somebody. But some other things that we can do is make a craft or create some artwork. Write. Write a poem. Write a story. Write a blog. Write about your story and share it with other people. Clean the house. Organize a cupboard. Sometimes organizing helps you feel organized in yourself. Another thing that you can do is do something for yourself. Go for a walk, take a bath, take a shower, get a pedicure, whatever it makes that makes you feel like you've been pampered, do it. Take care of you. Now is the most important time to take care of you. Because most of the time when those of us struggle with powerful emotions, especially with depression, anxiety, or um, PTSD, we, when we were traumatized, we were not taken care of. And so we relive those emotions, whether something triggers it or not, we relive those emotions. And that is the time that we really need to take care of us. So it's not about being selfish. It's about refilling that void that, that was lost so long, or that part of us that was lost. We need to refill it and we need to fill it up with positive things. And another thing that you can do is sit down and write a list of how you currently feel, how you got there, and how you react, how you reacted to, to it, and to do and to um, decide the way you reacted was it a positive reaction, a negative reaction, and if it was negative, how can you change it? Lastly, is to just be. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is it's okay to feel, it's okay to feel depressed, it's okay to feel anxious, as long as you're not staying there for too long. 
So my rule of thumb is 24 to 48 hours. And if you're still feeling really depressed, you really need to reach out to somebody and talk about it, go for a walk and really, 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 really trust yourself, believe in yourself. Lastly, I want you to know that you are strong and you will be okay. In my own personal journey, just to make it a brief, there was a time in my life a long time ago, I struggled with really, really hard emotions. And I really thought that that time of my life was never going to end. I felt stuck in a dark hole and I would never wish it on anyone. But I, what I will tell you is looking back on that now and seeing what a difference my life is now, I want to tell you that it will change for the better as long as you keep taking one step forward. forward. It may be little and that's okay. And you might take one step forward and bounce back a little bit. That's normal and that's okay. The other thing I want you to know is during those times that I was going through those deep emotions, I really did not want to continue in my life, in my journey. And I look at my life now and I think, wow, if I had made a different decision, if I didn't make the dec decision to continue on and to keep moving forward, I wouldn't have a wonderful husband who loves and supports me. And I wouldn't have my beautiful, smart, amazing son. And the same goes for you. You have a future. Keep moving forward. Keep going. And just be. And I want to also say, keep moving to a stronger you. I'm a personal trainer, fitness instructor, fitness motivator, and that is my motto. But I want to say that's my motto here too, because being strong isn't just about muscles or losing weight. Being strong is also about our mental health as well. So keep moving to a stronger you. You will be okay.